Hello, Neo Chozo here. Today I'm going to cover an endgame leveling up trick for Kingdom Hearts Dark Road that you can easily use to fill out your enemy album while at the same time gaining a massive amount of BP or battle points in order to level up Xehanort and better raise stats. By doing this trick, you gain much more BP than you would battling in the 4 or 5 star level worlds. To do it, first we're going to go to the shop, which is down here in the lower right corner. Now see charms right here? Basically these are extra lives that you can use to continue battling when Xehanort's HP has been depleted. The nice thing about them is that they're only 20 BP and that you can stockpile a ton of them. So what we're going to do is buy a whole bunch. As you can see I already have 649. But you can buy 99 of them for only 1980 BP. Assuming that you have zero in stock, you could purchase a full amount of 999 if you wanted, and it'll only cost you 12,980 BP. Based on what you're going to be earning doing this trick, this is not a whole lot to spend. As for statistics, you're going to want to have high strength and high magic stats, like I do here. Now, I'm level 74, and I'm only about 8 million left until I reach level 75. Keep your stats high, and then equip your best accessories, such as the ones from the Halloween event, which you can also get from the store. Once you've done all this, we're going to go home again, back to Scala Ed Kylum. Now by getting to the last quest in the game, you'll unlock two battle levels here. Fill out your album, and face a tough enemy. Fill out your album is nice for getting the required 1,000 kills to max out the album, but what we're really going to focus on here is this face a tough enemy one. This battle level just squares you off again against the bosses that you would encounter starting in Episode 4, such as the Earth Gargoyle, the Spirit of the Magic Mirror, Cerberus, Hades, the trio of Vali, Vala, and Vidar, and finally, the Demon Tide that previously appeared before the game's hiatus in the Scala Ed Kylum PvE Rewards Tower. With high enough stats, you'll be able to effortlessly handle this boss rush on automatic mode. The charms are there just in case you die to the Demon Tide, since it is a still very high level boss that can easily kill you. In fact, the Demon Tide is the only reason I even stockpile charms to begin with. Because of its high level, its attacks can still inflict upwards of 250 HP per hit, and it can even get two or more attacks in before you have a chance to respond due to the turn-based system. You'll ultimately lose absolutely nothing by setting the game on auto mode and dying to the Demon Tide as many times as it takes to beat it. Once you do, you'll just restart the sequence of six bosses all over again and keep going. As I stated before, a full stock of charms is only going to cost you 12,980 BP. By doing this whole run all the way through, You'll make 80,000 per run, so this is an extremely cost-effective method. I chose to test this method out last night. I started auto battling, and I let it go all night long while I slept, until I woke up, checked the game, and I had close to 12 million BP accumulated, which is quite a bit. Should you do this and run out of charms, you will die on your next death. But it's fine. You can just go ahead and go to the shop again, buy a whole other stockpile, and just go right back to it. Not only will you eventually get the 1,000 kill requirements for the album on each of these bosses, except for the Demon Tide. Remember, you only have to defeat one of them to get all your stat boosts for that. 
but you'll gain all of this BP in the process, which makes leveling up extremely easy. And that's all there is to it. Once you defeat the Demon Tide, you'll just restart from the Earth Gargoyle again, and just keep going. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, consider liking or subscribing so I can keep trying to create more content. Thanks, and may your heart be your guiding key.